Hi guys, this is my filming of the January um, Ipsy bag, which if you watched the one that I just um, did up a little while ago for my December bag, I kind of space cased on all this and I filmed the videos for it but I never put them up so I'm refilming because I didn't like those videos. So let's start it. Okay, this is the January bag. This is absolutely adorable. I love this. The back side is plain blue which I like. And you kind of got this neon pop of color here as well. Um, this one feels, you know, relatively good. It's not anything crazy, but it's not terrible quality either. Let me go ahead and unzip it. Um, I do have the card for it stuck inside, so let me pull this out. Um, it's the Ipsy All Eyes on You. Um, so it was all about eye products at the beginning of the year. Yeah. I just got all their social media and stuff linking there. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay. The first thing that's in here is the Skin Iceland uh, Solutions for Stressed Skin uh, Glacial Cleansing Cloth, and it's 10 cloths in here, which I'm kind of excited to try because I've heard good things about Skin Iceland, and so this would be a good way for me to test out the brand to see if there's maybe I wanted to try their eye patches and stuff, you know what I mean? So, really excited about this. 10 count is a really good size. That's a travel size right there that you'd probably pay good money for. So does this tell me? This does not tell me the prices of shit in here okay but that's that there's also this uh city color eyeshadow trio and this is in falling leaves um which falling leaves is kind of a weird name to put in a january bag you think it'd be more like shiny silvers and metallics and things like that to go with the winter theme but oh let me get the plastic off no wonder it's not opening up I don't mind my arm, I do have swatches on here. I'll probably at some point get up and grab some wipes to take it off, but yeah. Okay, um. Shit. Okay, right off the bat, I can tell you I do not like this packaging. Oh my god. I'd be afraid to break a nail trying to get into this damn thing. Okay, there we go. But, um, I'm just a nice quad. You get nice sized ones in here. Um,. And they're really kind of pretty. Like I like that this one that right here is matte and that'd be a good transition color. And you've got this one which would be a good lid color and this one which you could use in your corner uh, to create a kind of a more natural look. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys. Let me blend out the crap I already have on here. Okay, um, this is the lightest shade. And, oh, that doesn't really come off. Um, or maybe it's just very close to my skin color. But okay, here's the matte shade which is right there. And this is the darker shade. So these do feel kind of powdery. Um, this one comes off kind of okay. This one really is bold, and it might just be because of the color, but I really like that one swatched. Yeah, so this is the three. Let me go ahead and... Okay. Um, well, they didn't really... They're not pigmented at all. This one, I think, is very, very... Well, it's not even close to my skin color. It just doesn't have any pigment to it. Uh, this one's okay, but it's very powdery, very doesn't do anything. And this one went from being that pretty color to being like nothing. It kind of just killed itself. So, I mean, maybe you could try and blend these and build them up, but it doesn't feel like it's very, very good quality. So, kind of really disappointed about that pigmenting and lack thereof. But they, from the tin, they do look like pretty colors that I would maybe wear, so bummer. I will try those and see if I can make them work on my lids, but I'll have to let you guys know how that goes. All right, um, Promise Organic Ultra Moisturizing Argon Cream Facial Lotion with Olive Oil. Okay, off the bat, I would just like to say from this, I do like putting oils on my face. I suffer from dry combination skin, which used to be oilier when I was younger and I would have issues with that and makeup would break up all the time on me and it still does around here and around my nose around my nose but um, I do love argan oil I love it on my face and my hair um, sometimes I'll just take a couple drops out of my um, bottle and I'll just pat it right under my eyes if they're feeling a little dry or if I don't like how they feel so especially if I'm wearing makeup and I'm taking it off it's definitely really nice and this is for normal to dry skin, so let's go ahead. 100% uh, natural, paraben free. Um, 
says it uh, deeply moisturizes and replenishes, safe for sensitive skin, pH balance. Let's go ahead and open this up and see. Okay, it's got a aluminum foil over it. It's kind of citrusy smelling, um, which I really don't mind. It doesn't smell very strong, but it comes out like that, just kind of like a regular white um, cream. Just rub it on the back of my hand, see how it feels. Ooh. Hmm. It really, really quickly goes into the skin, um, so it absorbs nothing. It's not greasy or anything. Yeah, it just feels regular on my hands now. That's nice. Okay, I'm excited about this one. I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to try that on my face and see how my face reacts to it. Because um, some things will break me out. Some things my face loves. It's a crapshoot. Okay. Um, next thing in here is this Mr. Right Now from The Balm. It's um, an eyeliner pencil in Jacques. And it's this really, like you can see, it's kind of gold, brown, kind of, I don't want to say green tinge because it's just from the packaging alone. But it's kind of bronzy, kind of just very, very pretty. And I would use this one probably along my upper lash line with a more earthy tone look. I could probably even use it with this one. But, or even smudge along like the outer corner of my bottom. So it's very versatile, I would say. But that's just from looking at the color on the packaging. Let me actually pop this bad boy out if I can open this fucking thing. I should probably state now that I do swear a lot. Um, but I do apologize about that if it offends anyone. It's just how I am. I will try and be better on it and watch my tongue. But, okay. There we go. But, yeah. It's like this. It's an eyeliner pencil. Um, nice kind of... It's kind of thick. Um, it does look very gold. And let me just go ahead and do this on the inside of my wrist at the lightest point so you guys can kind of see. Okay. Um, uh, well then. Okay, I just had a, I don't know if you can see that, on there, a piece right there that had come off right onto my hand from the tip. Um, but I do really, really love the color. It's really pretty, pretty, like a darker dust gold. And I would wear this. Like, this is gorgeous color. Let me go ahead and... Yeah, let me see how it feels to see if it smudges out oh hey nice this shit doesn't move oh well, you can kind of if you really work at it smudge it a little but you really have to force it that's what I really really hate about pencil liners and I know I'm probably the only person out there who doesn't like this kind of pencil or anything with eyeliner I just like my fucking brush on put it on it doesn't move all day um, but this doesn't move. I could wear this. This is nice. I like it because I hate, because you guys can see, um, just relaxing my eyes right now. They're very, very hooded. So when I do wear eyeliner, if I'm moving my eyes around, I get it all up into my crease and on my upper lid. And it's just disgusting. So if this doesn't move, I can wear this to work and not have any problems. So, but I will have to actually put it on, try it out for you guys, see if it does last all day or if it's something that after a couple hours kind of just disappears or what may have you. All right, that was, okay, the last item in this bag is this um, brush. It's a smudger brush from Scone. It's, uh, I do not know if it's supposed to look like that. Let me see if I can bend it back in. Nope, it's just, it looks like that. Um, that's really, really weird. Um, it feels, it feels like a brush, a little bit, it's kind of stiff, um, a little scratchy, but not anything terrible. Um, I suppose you could probably use it to smudge out your um, liner a bit. It's probably what it's for, that's why it's a little stiffer, so it can pick up the liner and move it. I don't know, I'd have to try it out and see how it feels in my eyes and see if it irritates it at all. But it's really a weird shape. I don't, I have a feeling it's probably not supposed to look like this and mine's just fucked up because that's that's really weird I don't know all right tell me what you guys think about this in the bottom because is it 
did any of you guys have ones that come out looking like this? One of the ones who got the January bag? Because it's just really weird for me. Alright, but yeah, I will try it out, let you guys know if it works, if it's good, if it's a piece of crap or what have you. Um, once again, it was the brush, it was the Iceland Skin Iceland um, Makeup Removing Wipes. We had the Promise Organic um, Face Oil Lotion thing with olive oil and argan oil, which I'm excited about. The really fucking awesome uh, eyeshadow eyeliner pin, rather, um, from the Balm Mr. Right Now in the color Jacques, which I really, really am loving at the moment. Like, it's, it's gorgeous. Like, I would wear that. And then this disappointing eyeshadow trio from uh, City Color, which I will put it through its paces. I will try it out and see if it's usable. Um, it does say cruelty free on there, which is nice. Um, but I will test it out and let you guys know if it is as shitty as it comes off with first glance, okay? All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want, and have a great day.